All right, welcome to Big Play MTG. This is Greg. I'm recording a Wilds of Eldraine premiere draft. Um, this is... Uh, all right, looks like we're ready. Last night I drafted a blue-black control deck and got, got a trophy. I was pretty happy with the way that, that planned out. Um, so let's see what this draft looks like and um, I'm just trying to, to keep it rolling. So far on Arena, I've gotten five wins, six wins, and seven wins um, on Wilds of Eldraine draft. So been a pretty fun format let's see what we got here all right so we've got the cruel somnophage power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in all graveyards and i can mill all right for a two drop i can get pretty big i think i played against that a couple times and it's felt like something you want to deal with pretty quickly i haven't tried this though i'm pretty interested i'm gonna just select that um you know, I kind of wonder how often this is just going to be a three mana two three, which I'm not super excited about. This thing looks great in, in blue red spells, though. I think maybe I want to be in that first. Um, I think this is just a black two drop that I'd be happy to play. Again, blue, this thing can be a house. Um, I kind of want to just try this and just see what the rare looks like. Maybe hoping to wheel some of this stuff. It looks like there's some good cards in this pack. Um, number of creatures in all graveyards. Okay, so it's kind of asking us to go a little creature heavy, but but that's okay, that could be be okay. All right, Smothering Tithe. Um, I don't know that that's where I really wanna be in this format. We don't really see another black card that's really calling to us. There's an Evolving Wilds, a Prophetic Prism. Another one of these guys. Gadwick's first duel. There's the Borrow Naughty, which isn't bad. Here's kind of the power or mana value five or greater. Let's see. Which is the best card here? Prophetic Prism just allows me to stay open, but is this where I really want to be early? This has prowess. This is kind of getting us into blue-red spells. And do the prophetic prism. All right. Oh, man, there's the third one of these that we've seen. Jared Animosity, when, when a creature you control attacks, it gets plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn for each other attacking creature that shares a type with it. So this is really asking us to build rats here. Um, man, maybe I should have been taking these things all along. Starting with three of these would have been awesome. All right, there's the witch that cares about food. This is probably just the best card, and, and maybe, maybe other people were thinking the same things, but I can't imagine that people would be picking these really late. So moment of valor, destroy a creature with power four or greater. Okay. This guy that makes food. I kind of like this guy, but um, all right, this may be just the best card in the pack. Let's just try the, the frolicking familiar. Okay. This this blue card is probably just the best card. We're, we're just kind of seeing a lot of good blue cards. I've seen a couple of these sweet tooth witches. Um, to go more food. This is kind of asking us to do a little bit more of the tap thing. Yeah, I think I think this is the best card, the bitter chill. Okay. This is a late hopeful vigil. When there's a battlefield, create a 2-2 two -two white knight. Um, that kind of does everything that wants to happen here. Okay. All right, that lets us return that back to our hand. I think Hopeful Vigil is just great. There's the Diminisher Witch. I think this is the best card. Let's try a Hopeful Vigil. Okay. Oh, we got another Hopeful Vigil. Probably take as many as those as I can get. Okay. Sure. We'll take a second Hopeful Vigil. Oh, and here's the Sewer Witch. That card's really good. Okay. I mean, we could just get it be starting to get into like this white black 
And, and so is this. This deals three damage. I think this, oh man, Stab Wound? I really like this Sewer Witch. This is a fun card. Stab Wound can be great too. All right, I'm thinking maybe White Black is starting to look a little bit on the open side. Okay. This is great. I think your black decks are just going to want this. Okay. This cares about putting enchantments in the graveyard. It looks like maybe we're getting into a little bit of the white black enchantments. All right. I like the catapult, but I don't know that we're going to really be doing anything with it. Um, Is it possible we are like a five color thing and I could play an additional land? I don't know, maybe. Probably not. I'm just going to take that. Again, if we're trying to go like five color, all right, this, this guy's pretty good. Um, we could just cycle something here, um, plunge into water. There's a little bit of everything. Okay. Let's maybe, let's maybe try that, plunge into water. Here's a second one. I like flick a coin, but it's kind of late for that. You know, if we if we are trying to do like a five color kind of thing, then then flick a coin is probably pretty good. Um, I don't think I really want any of these, but sure. Yeah. All right, nothing really here for us at the end. All right, here we go. Oh, spellbook vendor looks great another sewer witch yeah i think this just asks you to put creatures in your deck and, and i think we're, we're interested in doing that anyway all right these are both these are all great these are all great for us um hopefully something like that wheels let's get the spellbook vendor i'm interested in in any of these wheeling really the vermin yeah this is a great pack for us all right. All right. Um, cooped up has played pretty well. Stroke of Midnight allows us just to destroy something and give it a 1-1, a one -one, which could be fine. I've liked the way that Three Bowls of Porridge has been playing. Um, this, again, cares about enchantments entering the battlefield, and it can, you can pump it. This also cares about enchantments getting put in the graveyard. But I think we just want this enchantment because that allows us to, you know, lock something down. You can even exile it. Um, yeah, Cooped Up looks pretty good here. So we've got some good black cards. I think we're definitely into white here. Cooped Up, Hopeful Vigil. It's still relatively early. Um, Okay. Okay, here's Ash Party Crasher. We could just look at maybe being a really aggressive red white deck. Tap target creature, put a cursed roll. Okay. I think the highest upside here is just Ash and see if see if red white looks open. And these are some good white cards and some decent red cards. Like, never Ash attacks if two or more non lands. Yeah, let's just let's just try Ash. Okay. Oh, I really. So, what have they been taking in this pack? Because there's a rare and three uncommon still here. Okay. So this can turn into something. It can ramp you. This is kind of the celebration deal. This looks like a pretty aggressive card. Seems like a good follow-up to Ash Party Crasher. Okay. Okay, here are the Light Blades. Three damage attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That allows us to stay pretty aggressive. Oh, here's another Belligerent. Oh, and a Cut-In. So maybe I'm looking at this... Uh, white red deck here this cutting could be really good two more non-land impairment end of the battlefield 
Yeah, I think I just want this removal spell. Cut in looks great. Okay. Now, in our, yeah, I mean, I think that if we're going red white, this lets us go through and, and make our creatures unblockable. It also is a guy with haste at the top of our curve. Sure. All right. Um, I really like this moment of valor here. I think it could do some different stuff here. It could kill a big thing. Some really good blue cards too. Like I really like the spellcaster, the stopgap. We interested in that. I think we just take that. Oh, here's the sewer witch. Okay. I do like the sewer witch. What's um, another belligerent? I don't, I don't think the sewer witch really allow, allows us to, to splash. This overperformed. This allows us to go wide. Let's take that. Okay. Candy trail. Raid bombardment. Is this a raid bombardment deck? Uh, let's take it and find out. Non crescendo. Okay. Well, we could maybe go wide. All right. Let's see what we have here. Dawn of Hope. Am I going to be gaining a lot of life? Yeah. All right. Picnic Ruiner, great name. And it's a four. I don't know how often that's going to be happening. There's the Besotted Knight, which just lets us make a roll token. That might just be the best card for us right now. I just don't think I'm going to be gaining enough life for that to really matter. All right. Besotted Knight. It is. All right. Maybe we just want a ginger brute to be really aggressive here. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, this grasp of fate's really good. Yeah, I think we we try to grab that and be aggressive. We've got enough good stuff where I wouldn't mind a return triumphant. Okay. All right, here's the charming scoundrel. And this battle feel I can either discard a card and then draw a card to create a treasure token or create a wicked roll attached to target creature. Okay. So the roll is I don't think we're Griffin airing. All right, let's try it. Let's try the scoundrel. Um, this could be really good with our um, hopeful vigils. I feel like there this could do some things. All right, let's try the celebrant. Um, yeah, we'll see how aggressive we want to be, but that could be a thing. Aaron, I mean, if we're going low to the ground, we're going low to the ground. See, so Embereth veteran would let us stay pretty low to the ground. All right, here's the wheel. It's cool that you can be. There's Hogak with... Uh, so... I don't think we're playing the bitter chill. I think this guy's making the cut. Neither is this guy. Okay, so. All 
All right. Um, Hopeless Nightmare, great card. Okay. This guy just lets us make rats and hit celebration. So, and he's a two drop. I think that's probably a pretty good, probably pretty good for our deck. Cut in edge wall pack, maybe. Yeah, I'd like to play the sewer witches, but I don't think it's in the cards, quite literally. Plunge in the water. Right, what does the red cap thief do? Treasure? Yeah, that lets us trigger celebration. I don't think this is a prophetic prism deck. I mean, this could be a Raid Bombardment deck. Saturday night. Um, yeah, I think we just want another Rat Catcher trainee. I think we're just going really hard on, on aggro here and, and really just trying to make sure that... Well, there's a third one. If this is good, then... Okay. Seen a lot of late red cards, so... That could be really good. All right, and it looks like we got a crystal grotto. All right, so now we're going to build our deck, and I think that I, I really want to build this pretty aggressively. Um, let's start looking at what's here. I can make a young hero. He has haste. Don't think I want that. Gingerbread. Light blades, maybe. I think I'm gonna take that out. Maybe return triumphant's great. Um, we have four rat catcher trainees. That seems like a lot. Maybe I go down one of them. Moment of valor. Yeah. Uh, this looks a little slow. Okay, so I've got three of these. A crescendo is probably pretty good. All right, raid bombardment. Red Cap Thief. Besotted Knight. Um, Cruiser. I think somewhere in here is where I want to make a cut. I don't think I care about this. And then I think I just cut this. Um, and I think I just go down to 16 lands. See what happens. Our curve is pretty low to the ground. Um, we've got 11 two drops. Yeah, I think that we just run it like that and see what happens. So, all right. Um, so let's let's get started. Um, you know, we'll we'll see how this goes. It's pretty low to the ground. Red, white, aggressive deck. I hope that we just kind of stumble on some of these nonsense decks that are trying to maybe play five colors and just be too fast. So, I think that if we are you know, on on the front foot the whole time, then we've got a shot here. So let's see what happens. All right, we go first. Um, we can play a rat catcher trainee, follow it up. Oh, except we can't because we only have red. Do we just mulligan this? Yeah, I think so. Um, now we have the opposite problem. All right, well we'll just we'll just keep this one. And hopefully we can get something going. So we play the Embreath Veteran and, and just hope that we draw some white pretty soon. Or more red stuff. Okay, well, let's rock and roll. Swing for four on turn two. Okay. So now I think I just want to use my mana efficiently and play the four two. Um, no attacks. That's fine.
All right. So white, black, they might be looking to play enchantments. Okay, there's the pie wielder. Okay. So we can't quite play that yet. Um, we could make a young hero roll. I think we just go ahead and play the hopeful vigil. I could make a young hero roll and that could make this a four, three when it attacks. Um, so I could take out one of their things here. I definitely want to play land for turn. I think I could also do that at instant speed, but this at least has first strike. So I think I just say no attack. I just don't have a great attack there. Yeah, this is what you're kind of afraid of when you're playing aggro is that, you know, the the other deck is just a little bit a little bit bigger, a little bit more mid range. Um, we'll we'll see how this goes, but you know, see what they want to do here. <laughs> it also feels like we're flooding just a little bit with, you know, having the mulligan and already having this many lands early on in the game. Still haven't found our second white source. Um, if we do, I might be willing to. Exile the Pie Wielder. Um, yeah, it's possible that we sacrifice this next turn and scry to. Um, wondering about the draft, too. You know, maybe it was when... Okay. So they are going to... And that has Ward 1. Okay. They can't play the Besotted Knight, but... Taking their time trying to figure out what they want to do. That's okay. So they attack with the first striker. I probably just don't do anything. Okay. So my turn. Okay. So that's pretty good. Let's do this. Basically, oblivion ring this thing. And that's fine. Yeah, we'll pay we'll pay the ward. They have a way to protect it. Okay. Looks like they maybe want to respond with something, but I, I guess not. All right. Um, let's just mash. If I... I think it's probably too late to do this. Maybe not. Let's see, let's see how they want to block. If I created the young hero role, I, I imagine they're going to block here. And if I sacrifice it and give this a young hero, I think it's already too late. For him to get the counter. Maybe I should have done that. Made that a 4-3. Okay. That's fine. I guess because it has Vigilance. Or maybe even a 3-3 three, three Vigilance was pretty good. I could have sacrificed that attack with the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Okay. You know, I don't really have this like great engine to draw cards. I'm, I'm really just trying to go fast. I'm a little worried now. Down to my last card. They're going to stonewall me with this 3-3. Three, three. Play a land, say go. My turn. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. It's about as good as we could have hoped for. Kill their thing. Make a young hero roll. Make it a 3-2. Play a land and say go. All right, so we're hell bent. No cards in hand. We've got an Embereth veteran that has a young hero roll. Let's see if that's going to be enough. You know, we're going to be drawing. We only have 16 cards. Okay. 
they can pay the two, create a sorcerer roll, right? Okay, so they did that. But we can still attack into it, right? Like, that should be fine. Okay, we're kind of in a similar situation and, you know, we, we might actually be in a better situation. I'm going to hold that up here. We can put a counter on this, so I'll attack. And then next turn, at the end of my their turn, I'll pop this hopeful vigil. So hopefully we're drawing into some gas here um, as we get into the late game. See what they want to do. We've got the trigger on the stack. You know, is this an instant that they can do something with? They're just kind of being slow. All right. Um, I don't think they want to block there. They have a young hero as well. So if we get in a race situation, we're probably going to win the race. Okay, so they're down to seven. We're going to keep this in our hand and just kind of bluff like we have something. All right, so what are they going to do here? It looks like they have something to do maybe end of turn. Um, but we're definitely going to scry. Okay. Okay. Well, nothing we can do about that. We're going to hope that this... All right, so let's scry. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I think I think we just slam. Let's go. Let's slam in with a hasty big guy. Let's see if they can deal. Glass casket doesn't hit that. Are they going to just play that for the bargain? Is there something they want to bargain with? Um, if not, I think we're in a pretty decent position here. This guy's a pretty good curve topper. And then we've got the edge wall pack coming up. Okay. There's no reason not to just attack. So let's just attack, see what happens. Are they gonna, I, I keep thinking they're gonna do something there to bargain or they're gonna pump this guy somehow. Just trying to block just to stay alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it has lifelink. Okay. All right. Well, that wasn't great. Man, we were just top in a top deck war here. I've got more life, but it's something I can really do. I'm, I'm not going to trade. I mean, I can't even trade because he's going to put it, make this a four, four, but so no blocks. 13 to 8. Let's see who draws into what here. Oh, that's pretty good. So let's let's attack. Okay. Then let's make some rats and play the trainee. And turn. Okay. Well, going wide, this guy's got menace, so I think we're in a pretty decent position here to finish them off. They are passing. Okay. Um, so I think we just attack, right? 
played the belligerent next turn or after attack. See if they can do anything to defeat me here. Oh, that's pretty good. They still have the double block. I don't think that's enough. The menace here is really nice. That was a nice little, little disenchant. Okay. I still don't think it's enough for them. Yeah, they can block there. They can block there, but that just does it, right? All right, we're waiting to see what opponent does, but I, th I think that's going to be 1-0 for us. There it is. 1-0 with uh, red-white aggro, and that pushes us up into the gold tier. Did I have fun? Oh, sure. I had fun. Let's see, Let's see how gold treats us. Again, this is a brand new account, so just trying to climb the ladder here. Um, just having a lot of fun. Drafting Wilds of Eldrain. All right. Well, we're one to know. Let's go to game two. You know, I, I don't think this is a trophy deck. Um, I haven't really played this much aggro. Um, last night, again, played blue black control. We got got a trophy with that. Um, I've got six wins with a blue white, kind of mid rangey tap tap their stuff kind of tempo deck. Um, last time we recorded, we made blue, black, red rats and, and got to five wins. So, um, have, have had success on arena. Okay. This looks great. Um, this, this looks like we can do everything we want to do here. Um, yeah, this is the slam, slam keep here. All right. So land spear guard attack. Yeah. That's a quick opener. Now we'll hopeful vigil. See, let's see if they're going to do the same thing. Okay. So let's hopeful vigil. Then we make rats, then play the rat catcher. Attack again. Okay. Is it possible I'd just grasp a fate, whatever they have? Uh, if they don't play something here, I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some rats. Attack. Okay. Next turn, we can slam for five, get them down to 10. So if they play a creature, we could maybe just grasp a fade it and just try to, to keep pushing damage. It'd be great if they, if we didn't do anything, we could do some kind of like gnawing crescendo that would just about do it. Like that would be three, six, nine, 14. Okay. They can hopeful vigil. Oh, Spellbook Fender is great. Okay, so let's do this. Let's Spellbook Fender. And what does this guy do? When he dies, make a rat? Okay. So let's Spellbook Fender. And then we can just put a Sorcerer roll here, right? Because the Sorcerer gives you plus one, plus one, and when it attacks, scry one. And then play the Trainee. Oh, I have to pay one. Do I just uh, push through? They could block a rat, and I could do. Well, we could we could trade here. Yeah, I think I just do that. We, you know, kind of whatever they block, it's okay. Probably should have held up something. I got to pay one for the sorcerer roll. Okay. Read the card. All 
Okay, I don't think we played optimally there. We probably should have held up. But, okay, they're down to 11. Yeah, they have more cards than we do, but we're just trying to be aggressive. And then this lets us play a sorcerer role. Okay, so, yeah, plus one, plus one, hence scry one. Yeah, we, we probably should have done that, Hit, put, our, put it on our knight, and then, but next turn. I like just that we have the Grasp of Fate just sitting here. That's great. And then this has First Strike on our turn, so... And in the future, we can just keep doing this every time. I really like the Spellbook Vendor. This is just a great card, you know, if you have just creatures in your deck, which we do. Oh, and it has Vigilance. So, attach it to this, attach it to this, First Strike. All of these are pretty good to be putting the... Um, and also just the Rats, too, right? Like, they get pretty annoying when they're Tutus. All right, we've had some pretty slow opponents tonight. They're, they're at least thoughtful. See what they want to do. See what Jazzy B's up to. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. I, I would probably do the same thing. Now, depending on what else they do, if we can grasp a fate the night. Okay. Yeah, I imagine they will block with that. So we, we grasp a fate something. No blocks. See what else we draw. Oh, here's Party Crasher. Here's the Party Crasher. Two or more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under your control. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Ash. Okay. So, what do we grasp with fate? This guy? Probably. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Play Ash. Swing. So Ash is now a 3-3. Three, three. They're going to block the rat. All right. They're down to three. Let's see what happens. Done a pretty good job of being aggressive. Even, even though I don't think that last turn I played as well as I could have. Maybe two turns ago. Um, Ash showing up there was just great. Maybe we can get that uh, hasty 4-4 four four again or gnawing crescendo. Oh, that, that was enough. Okay. So 2-0 and o with uh, red-white aggro. Uh, turns out just being fast is, is pretty good. Um, we got on the board really early there. Um, that, was, that was a great way to just start pushing some damage through. All right. Well, what do you know? 2-0 um, and o for red-white aggro. Um, done a little bit of celebrating. I, I don't think I played the uh, Spellbook Vendor optimally. All right, well, let's go to game three, Red White Aggro. Uh, just trying to get people on the get on the front foot and you know keep it moving. So here we go. We are trying to rank up gold. Opponent goes first. A little bit of a slow hand, but it could set us up well for the late game. Um, would like to be on the play. Would like to go a little faster than this, but we can get Hopeful Vigil out turn two. Maybe we draw into something right away. All right. All right, that could be worse. All right, so let's play a Plains. Say go. We can go pretty wide and then then gnawing Crescendo. It does set us up to do that. Okay, there's a Minstrosity. Um, so let's gnawing. Let's Hopeful Vigil. All right. I don't think we block this if it attacks. Like, that's a little bit annoying, but I guess we could. Next turn, I think I just want to make rats. Unless there's really something I need to get rid of, but I don't think there will be. So I think we just, like, make rats, and then we play the edge wall pack if we need to, or I can use this. I can always bargain this. 
to to destroy something. So that's pretty good. I can always bargain the hopeful vigil. That's why I love these enchantments just sitting around. Just lets us do so much. Okay. Again, opponents taking their time. I think no blocks here. Okay. So need to be a little careful on what I play here. I'm a little worried they're holding up a counter spell. So I definitely don't want to get my rat catcher trainee counter spelled. Um I could. I think I think I still just play it and just recognize that there's a decent chance this just gets countered. Um I mean, maybe not. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what did they hit? Oh, that thing's a, a beast. Okay, so we definitely need to kill that when that comes out. If they're playing blue-black fairies, uh, I don't really want to be dealing with that. That looks like a good Grasp of Fate or Light Blades target. Okay. So I think next turn we edge wall pack. Okay, that's fine. That makes it uh, no blocks. Oh, hatching plans is great. Okay, so let's edge wall pack. I think we don't do anything here. I probably should have attacked and see what they did here. Um, all right, so they're kind of playing this blue-black control. But I think what we do is we start, just go really wide, and then we attack and gnawing crescendo. Okay, that cut in. Yeah, that's annoying. I still don't think I want to trade that, though. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and trade. I know they're gonna make a food, but okay. So we keep getting white. Okay, let's do this. If they block, we just kill and light blade it. And if they attack next turn, we just kill and light blade it. Okay. This spell is bargained. Destroy the creature instead. Okay. Cool. So we bargain this. Destroy this thing. Bargain. Submit. So then we can scry to. Is there anything I want to return triumphant? Not really. Um, I think we just bottom both of those. I mean, maybe my rat catcher trainee, but that's okay. Okay. So then we play the trainee in nine crescendo. Like if they, they're probably going to try to get that off the battlefield as soon as possible. They've got this food. So then they're not just dead, but we're in a decent spot. This guy's pretty good. Okay, more lands. I hope they played just something big without hatching plans. Okay. Okay. So we do this. They have a counter spell. Yeah, okay. So do I gnaw in crescendo here? So that gets me 
Um, if I do, that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 15. Yeah, I think that's pretty hard to come back from. And if it gets countered, it gets countered, but let's just see what happens. Looks like they might have something. Flick a coin. Okay. They're still down to five. I mean, it's not the worst. They do have a food, so it's probably probably at eight in real reality. Um, you know, they can definitely draw some cards and do some stuff, but okay, the butcher's pretty good. Okay, they make a rat. He can't block, though. Okay. So let's... Let's just bash with the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Okay, they're flicking coins, so they trade. Now we hopeful vigil. Play the training. We're just short of being able to scry. That would have been nice, but um, okay. And they're gonna sack a food and gain some life. Cool. So they're at eight. We've got a decent board presence. I uh, don't know what they're drawing. Got a pretty cool deck. I mean, I like the three colors. They're making some treasures. Hatching plans is just fantastic. And the blue black control deck I had last night, it was just maybe the best card. Okay, so let's go. See what happens. They can't block. It's four, six. Maybe they flash in a fairy or something like that. That's possible. But we've done a pretty good job of just getting on the front foot and attacking. Okay. They've got a lot of instant speed stuff. Okay, so they rat out. They get another rat. But again, that rat can't block. So they're down to four. All right, I'm just going to hold this up here. I'm going to scry on their turn. There is a lot of one toughness stuff in the format, but I just don't really like rat out main deck. I just don't think it does enough. Okay. Now the sewer witch is pretty good. So let's activate this in response. Um, ginger brute. Oh, will raid bombardment just do it? Cool. Because the rats still can't block. <laughs> no blocks. Okay. I think this will do it. They can only block one thing. This creature can't block. And let's go. There we go. All right. Another win for the red-white aggro. All right, so starting to climb gold a little bit here. All right, let's maybe run one more game tonight, and we can always come back tomorrow. Let's go for the fourth win. This has been pretty fun. Um, you know, at my heart, I'm, I'm kind of a control player. I like out carding people and gaining more resources. But hey, a win's a win, and we've been doing pretty well on this account so far. Um, you know, I, I think the, the deck has a low curve, 16 lands. You know, we're just uh, just putting out guys and punching. Okay, so here's here's a guy who's uh, a little bit higher on the ladder. All right, well, can't play Ash right away, but we can play all the other things. So, yeah, let's do it. Opponent goes first. All right, fine. Okay. 
Spear guard. Let's go. Do I just play the trainee on turn two? I think I do and not worry about the rats so much. Let's see what they're going to do. All right, there's the alchemist. That, that card's pretty good for them. Okay. So, yeah, let's just play the trainee because I've got these three drops here. Uh, no attacks. I can coop them up if I ever get a white. All right. So this guy's pretty good at holding down the fort against my team. All right. Here's another red. So I think we just keep building out the board. Um, yeah, we'll see what they want to do here. Okay. Yeah, they're holding that up. That's fine. Okay. They have more cards, but it kind of helps me out to some degree. All right, would love a white mana here to be able to cast this cooped up. If we can start start attacking and um, getting our guys on online here, then okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's attack here and let's just see if they want to bite. If I die, just make a rat. I, I feel like they see this as a really suspicious attack and won't want to block this. So we're bluffing a little bit here. Okay, that's fine. Makes a rat and I play another guy. Okay. So they called the bluff, but that's okay. They didn't make a food from the Feed the Cauldron. Okay, Sprite, fine. Hopeless Nightmare. We will discard a mountain. Fine. Well, that's not great. So let's swing with the 3-3. Three, three. Okay, they're down to 14. We really could use a white. Really could use a white. I think if we get a besotted, you know, get a royal token. Okay, they can start casting some stuff really cheaply. Okay. I think we just go, right? Maybe holding up a counter spell if they do, that's pretty bad. That kind of blows us out. Yeah, if they counter this, then we're in trouble. If it doesn't get countered, okay. So they can do that. All right, we're not in the worst spot. Um, we can play Ash, we can make something bigger. Again, we need some red mana, but um, we can also play Cooped Up. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't help. Okay, we can make a treasure token. That's pretty good. So she has haste. Um, I think we just do that. And then play Ash with the treasure. And then let's swing. So that gets us pretty close. That gets them down to two. Okay. Now they have to deal with it. Okay, and they can sacrifice it and scry. They've done a pretty good job with removal, but again, if... Um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Like, first strike... 
Um, probably we'll just stay a 3-3 unless we can figure out a way to get. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But now we got to figure out a way to push through some damage. Okay. If we just coop him up. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to find a way to finish the job, which is frustrating. We could lose both of our creatures, but take one of these out. So no attack. Let's just end the turn. I, th I think if we have white, we just win that game, right? Um, sometimes that happens. I think, I think it's still possible. Okay. Rat out. Maybe they could get overly aggressive here. Okay. That's lethal. So that means that I need to... to a block. Doesn't have trample. I'm going to say no block here. Let's go no block. Okay, so we're both at two. Hopeful Vigil, which I cannot cast. All right. Didn't get any white. I got five mountains instead. Okay. All right, we just concede. All right, that's too bad. That's too bad. All right. You win some, you lose some. Uh, we, we had a pretty good run. Um, you know, maybe could have played a little differently, but um, all in all, I think it was, it was a pretty good game. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, three and one right now um, with red, white aggro. We got them down to two, just didn't have a way to finish off the job in that last game. Um, they were able to stabilize and uh, just do enough. We didn't have any white mana, but it was still a pretty close game. So we'll see how we do here um, in game five. It's been pretty fun. Um, you know, I think this is a cool format where we... Um, are able to go red white aggro and be be successful and also you know get a trophy with blue black control last night i think there's just a lot of stuff that you can do in this format okay opponent goes first okay well we have both the colors of mana here um putting a royal token on the rat catcher trainee is not bad um would like to draw some more early plays but yeah if, if i have to just play this on turn two it's not my favorite but you know, we'll do it. Okay, they're black, black. There's the Wicked Visitor. Okay, so let's go Rat Catcher training. Just play the guy with First Strike. See what they want to do. Those are cool swamps. Maybe they're running into a similar situation, or maybe this is just mono black. All right, so no blocks there. All right, so now I play the spear guy. Do I just put the royal? I think I just put the royal token on the trainee because he has first strike. And now I mash. Okay. Next turn, play the Besotted Knight, and who's just bigger than they are. Um, I can start Grasp of Fading stuff. Oh, okay, no blocks. That's fine. Okay, let's play this. Let's play the Besotted Knight. Looks like maybe they're going to try to kill one of my things. Yeah. 
We've got the three three here just to kind of stonewall their guys. Um, you know, maybe they've got some kind of pump thing. Okay. Maybe they're just stuck on mana. Uh, I mean, that happened to us last game. So, all right, I think we just block one of their guys, right? What's the worst that happens is that they pump it and we take two. Our guy dies. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, that's not great, but that's okay. All right. Um, we play this. Swing. Okay. Then we just gnaw in crescendo next turn. They can't play the gingerbread hunter. I mean, I think we can grasp with fate and gnaw in crescendo, which might just do it, right? Okay. They can they can have that. That's fine. Okay. So let's that works. Grasp of fate. This guy. Submit. Then Okay, that's fine. Then we do this. And we gnaw in crescendo. And that should do it. There we go. Red, white, aggro. Picking up another win. All right, we made it up to gold tier at the number three. Uh, it is we are four and one with Boros Aggro here. Um, we're gonna jump in, try to get our fifth win. The one game that we have lost, we got our opponent down to two and they stabilized. So <clears throat> had some success, just playing things fast, going wide, pumping, um, just trying to be aggressive here. You know, we, we've already got four wins, so that, that feels pretty good. We're going to end with a, w a winning record, but we'd love to find a second trophy here. Um, again, last night going blue-black control, getting a trophy. Uh, the first time we recorded, we got five wins with black-red rats. Um, so let's see if we can can do a little bit better here with this uh, red-white version. Uh, kind of doing some similar things. I think this one's a little bit more low to the ground. Um I don't think we have anything truly busted. We're, we're just playing fast things and, and going, right? All right, someone in bronze. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I go first. Play Ash Party Crutcher pretty quickly. Then he can just start celebrating, okay? Yeah, this looks good. Might be interesting to like play Raid Bombardment with a pretty wide board. Um, okay, we'll just start here. And Ash has haste, like he's just going to get in for some damage. Okay, that's great too. So let's play Ash. Okay, and then I think we can just start celebrating next turn, right? Okay, so let's make some rats. Or do I want to just start dumping these guys and then... I can start celebrating by dumping rats onto the battlefield. I think I just do this. So let's let's just go ahead, move to combat, get in for another four, play this guy. And then I think when we dump these rats onto the battlefield, then we're really like just in, you know, or maybe we need to do it sooner. We'll see. But if I'm in a situation where I can just start dumping rats and giving all my guys like plus one, plus zero oh and menace, then that's just fantastic. And then, okay, that's a good card. Okay. So maybe I do just want to do that. Make some more rats. Yeah, I think so. So let's just play pest problem. Now they have a problem. I think I want to give him plus one of the plus minus. 
And then when he attacks, okay, I can put a plus one, plus one counter on him. So he'll trigger. They don't have a great block here. They're down to nine. And then I think I just start getting rid of some stuff here that is blocking or attacking. I can play Raid Bombardment. I mean, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I'd like a little bit more land. That would be nice, but... Okay. You put a Royal Roll. So that means that he has a Ward 1. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think I just go really hard here. Because something I can... Let's do this. Well, I can always light blades. Oh yeah, I like this. Yeah, I think we just do that. Okay. We are definitely close. Uh, light blades can get rid of something else here. One more land would be great and would let us probably double spell next turn. Um, Ash has been great when we've been able to get him on the battlefield. Okay, that's fine. They can draw a card. That's fine. If we could like hopeful vigil plus a light blades, that would be great. Okay. So what can we do here? All right, so we hopeful vigil plus training. Okay. That will give that will let us Ash be a four four and let our guy celebrate. And rat catcher training. So we'll give him Menace. So I think we just win. Like, they can't, they have to block, he has Menace, right? So either they block Ash. Yeah, they have to double block. I think, I think I've got him here. So that's, that gets me exactly five. They're tapped out, okay? So they recognize that he has Menace. All right. That lets them stay alive, but then I played Raid Bombardment the next turn and Slam, and they're done. But that does technically keep them alive. Maybe they can find something that gains them life, makes them food or something, but this one will be done pretty quick. Yeah, they're down to one. We've got a board full of stuff. I like our position to get to the fifth win here. All right, that's fine. Yeah, this has proven to be a pretty good card. And, you know, it's pretty flexible. Yeah, they recognize it too. All right, there's our fifth win. All right, let's keep pushing here and see if we can get to that trophy. All right, man, Wilds of Eldraine Limited has been great. All right, so let's go. Hopefully we just keep playing uh, first, keep having some nice early drops. All right, you go first. There's a, yeah, I think that'll do it. Okay, this looks great. Let's play the Veteran. All right, let's slam.
think I just go ahead and do it anyway. Let's have him ride the rails. Four damage. Let's go. So next turn, I can either play the 4-2 or make some more rats. I think I like just playing the 4-2. All right. That's fine. Uh, no attack here. So are they going to try to do some kind of auras thing? Yeah, there's one. They can scry one. Okay. So this makes me think we just need to go really wide. Okay, we could coop up something. Or I could just start making some rats. All right. Let's just go really wide. Like This lets me make things not be able to, you know, we can just keep going wide here. Um, And the thing about all these adventures, right, is that they just let us, like, use our mana to do a bunch of different stuff. All right, what does this do? Another. Okay. Pay two. Choose a target enchantment you control that doesn't have the same name. All right, I'm not, like, so concerned with that yet. So I think we maybe just do this. Could this be a problem, though? Could. Um, do I just slam with the Daredevil and see what they do? Probably just block here, so I think I'm okay. I think it could be interesting if we play the Bellowing Bruiser and just, like, not let their two big things block next turn. We can probably get in with a lot of damage. It could be the move. Okay, so they're going to copy Utopia Sprawl. It's probably fine. Okay, and they're going to say white. So they're ramping here with this thing. Why do they untap? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So I think we just, like, make it so these two things can attack next turn, and then we just, just slam, right? The best they can do is they could take out this veteran... Okay, which I think I might just do anyway. Um, Cause I can just do that at instant speed. I could make something a young hero. I could make the daredevil a young hero. Let's do this. You can't block and you can't block. Counter it. You're pretty bad if they counter it. I feel like at this point, if they had a counter spell, they would have used it. Because. Okay. Does that just fizzle my spell? They they just fizzled that. That's pretty bad. Okay. Um. So they have hexproof this turn. Okay. I think next turn I just coop it up, right? What attack? Okay. So they get to make a treasure because I have more lands than they do. But next turn. We just coop it up and exile it, maybe? Could we and then and then I can start slamming this guy too. Like we're pretty wide. They're at 16 though. I would like to get rid of this thing. It's fine. Okay, nightly valor. It's fine. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. 
would love a what are they going to copy the knightly valor that's cute oh that's pretty good that's pretty good oh i like this this deck is pretty cool they're doing some real enchantment shenanigans here so if we don't win at least we saw a pretty cool deck all right so let's do this let's play this guy let's coop up this guy at least we will give this guy a menace i think i want to swing here let's let's swing with menace here and let's see if we can take out some of their guys See, let's see how they want to block this one. It's 5 2 Menace. It's pretty annoying coming in there. Right? I should be able to take out two of their guys. Yeah, there's a 1 1 and probably a 2 2. Yeah. Can they just like keep copying the, the Knightly Valor? If they can, that's really sick. Hats off to you if you just keep getting able to copy the Knightly Valor. That is good magic if you've been able to do that. So I think we just play the Bruiser next turn. Yeah, that's pretty bad for me. Would love a would love a trumpet blast here or something. Um, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Okay. Sticky Willy has made all the enchantments. This must have been wide open. Are they going to copy another Knightly Valor? What are they copying? Okay. Because if we just start slamming a five fives into their six sixes, we didn't really do a whole lot. And yeah. Let's just start. I mean, I think we just keep trying to go as wide as we can, hoping that we draw the trumpet blast. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm good here. But if we do draw the trumpet blast, it might be in business. We'll see. I've always got this guy. I mean, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. But would love just to, okay, destroy up to one. Oh yeah, they're gonna destroy that. I probably should have exiled him. Didn't think about that one. We are pretty wide. Um, yeah, I think either way we may just play this and okay. So monster roll. They've got some big stuff. Five, five, six, six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten creatures. They have one, two, three, four, five. Plus a food. Okay, these have vigilance, right? So blocks. So that did eleven. So I'm down to eight. But they have Vigilance. All right. I think I have one card that gets me out of here. If I draw the Gnawing Crescendo, then I think I win. That is a Ginger Brute. Well, let's play the guy and swing with everything and see what happens. This is probably our last hope, and we're probably dead. All right. Well, we'll give this guy Menace. Yeah, math is for blockers, right? Um, well, at least do like five. <laughs> this is definitely not enough. And they have a food, and I think we're just dead. They win on the crackback.
I wonder if we could have bluffed the uh, the non crescendo. I mean, they do have they we do have some stuff with menace like. Will it even be close? I don't, I don't think so. I think we'll get him down to like seven. And that's about it. They don't want to block the five toughness guy. He has menace and haste. Okay. That's first strike damage. Uh, we were close. All right, so the games we've lost, we've got them down to two and three. So, all right, we're we're at least, at least getting close if we if we lose, you know. All right. All right. Hopefully, we can pick up these two more wins before we reach one more loss. But if not, you know, I think five wins is respectable. Um, but hey, we're shooting for another trophy, so let's go. All right, yeah, that, that Trumpet Blast would have been great. I mean, against a lot of decks, that's still pretty good. I mean, we, we went pretty wide, and I don't know there's a whole lot we could have done differently. You know, maybe I could have waited and cooped up. Maybe I should have cooped up that one quicker, tried to exile it. Um, but, man, that thing is good. Uh, just copying those Nightly Valors is crazy. So hats off to them. You know, again, maybe if I remember to exile the thing earlier, you know, that's that's something that we could have done. So maybe there's a misplay or two. Um, okay, I go first. Oh, man, this is, again, kind of that same problem here. If I just had a red. This feels really risky, but I'm going to keep it. As soon as I click that, I'm thinking I probably should have mulliganed. But it gives us a little bit of time. Yeah, of course, of course we just draw red stuff. Um, but we either need to draw some white spells or some red lands. Red lands would be great, but looks like we might just be able to like play this scry. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, of course that happens. All right, next. Am I going to bounce it? Oh, light blades. All right, that works. All right, they have three blind mice. So let's scry. Yep. All right, we have nothing to do with it. So that was probably a mistake on my part. Greedy keep. I think we'll probably just end here at five wins. I, I don't see us winning this game. Unless we immediately get some red mana and fast. Um, yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. Well, there's Ginger Brute. Hey, buddy. I mean, you make him unblockable. Might as well play that one. Uh, the Scoundrel would be good. Like, if we. Yeah. If, uh, so now they have three blind mice and then they get plus one, plus one in vigilance. This is pretty good. Yeah, that's really bad for us. Okay. Just have to sit here and take it. Draw a card, then they pump next turn. Mocking Sprite. Okay. 
Well, let's see what we can do. Let's Charming Scoundrel, make a treasure, play another thing. Yeah, create a treasure. I could like hold this back. Just play a 4-2 and try to block. I think I maybe attack with Ginger Brute. All right, let's just play the 4-2. Now, all the creatures are... Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Oh, I think I'm just dead anyway. But now it'll be quick. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if they just kill me here. Two, four, six, thirteen. Yeah, that's it. Well, that was not a good game. And probably my own fault for keeping a really greedy hand. I should have mulliganed. Yeah, that's on me. All right, well, this is Greg with Big Play MTG. Thanks for joining us. Uh, another five win hand. We uh, Another five win deck, red, white, aggro. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, like and subscribe. That way we can... Um, trying to come out with weekly videos. Uh, thanks for joining us.